So, hello guys, JD0, um, guess what, you see it right there on the title, you pretty much see it in the image of images on my video here, um, basically it's a top 5 mascot, top 5 mascots that could have been, uh, could have been my mascot, basically, I got tagged by freaking lantern and I was kind of shocked I was kind of shocked because one I wasn't expecting that two it's a very interesting idea because he did want to know exactly why and how did I get to the point of choosing you know the one and only <clears throat> Gordo is my mascot, and the uh, other Pokemon that I kind of feel like could have been completely my mascot. Like most of them are technically are my mascot, but yo, know, why is like what was going to the point of being like the top of my top mascots? Now, at number five, I will believe. The one that I could have picked to being my mascot would have been your boy Squirtle. Now, the reason why my Squirtle is at the number top five, there's he would be at number one because he is my mascot right now. But the reason why Squirtle is in the top five is because of the whole Squirtle shade thing, the whole uh, Squirtle uh, the Squirtle squad. Squirtle Squad in the first regional episodes made me want to have this particular Pokemon as my mascot. The whole concept of him wearing shades, the whole concept of why I say, yo, put your Squirtle shades on, it's because of Squirtle being the particular mascot for my my whole entire channel. He's in the top five, but I wouldn't pit him as my number one choice. He is my number one choice, but he's not my number one. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I have him in my top five. I do have Blastoise as my, uh, top four. Now, another thing about Blastoise is I always love Blastoise. Blastoise with his two huge fucking cannons, Blastoise was one of the mons that I consider being one of the best of the best. Not in competitive style. I mean, still, you still consider him in a way a competitive style good mon, but not as what you, pers you know, want him to be in that competitive style listing. Uh, I mean, he did make into the UU tier for his Mega Evolution. Granted, that's awesome. But I'm hoping that later on, hopefully, things might change and... We could have a much better Blastoise, probably a different Mega Blastoise. Hopefully, if the Pokemon Company wants to change how Blastoise look to making him a much better Pokemon compared to his uh his other starter, like Charizard, make him a dual different Mega Evolution. I feel like they should do the same thing for Blastoise. You know. Uh. Now. Here's another Pokemon that I feel like could have been in my mascot listing that you probably don't even see it on my uh, my new uh, layout on my channel. I kind of prefer the whole concept of Mewtwo. Mewtwo, when I saw Mewtwo, Mewtwo made it seem like that was going to be my mascot right there and then. But it ends up not being my mascot. Uh, it's getting competitive style. It's the most OP Pokemon in existence. I was hoping that would fit my role. And I kind of get Mewtwo in a way that fits my style. But I never, never got to the point of saying, Hey, Mewtwo, you want to be my mascot? Never really see it as that way. Then, we also have in the top three. Now, this is a even harder choice for top three because... I had 
two two potential Pokemon that was kind of like in the top three Taiwei when it came down to it. You had your boy Jirachi, who was in my top three, and then you also have Togekiss that's in my top three. Between those two, those were like the difficult ones to say like, oh, I want you as my mascot, but I also want you as my mascot. You're getting competitive style. You're also getting competitive style. But the reason why I like you both is because you like to flinch people so many times. And that's what I love about you guys because you like to troll them. You like to just piss off the people that you're in match with. That's why I like those two Pokemon. Those are why they're in my top three. Technically, they are my mascot when it comes down to competitive battle and play. If you've seen most of my competitive battles, that's why those two Pokemon are in the top three. Those are why they're considered on along the side with Squirtle being my mascot. Um, also, the same thing for Blastoise. The reason why Blastoise also is part of my mascot. It's the reason why it's semi getting competitive about, but I overall like Blastoise, like Squirtle. Um, now for top two, top two has to do with Shaman Sky, another potential flanking Pokemon that I also enjoy to have around in the continuity of Pokemon that I also favor as well. I like uh, Shaman Sky. Shaman Sky is a good Pokemon when it comes down to flinching Pokemon. Um, I never really enjoyed Shaman Sky until now, and this is why he's part of my mascot now in my profile picture. Even though you still have your man Squirtle, but overall, over the couple of weeks, over the couple of months that I actually had Shaman Sky on my team, he's been honestly the good flinching mon that I have in today's competitive scene. Too bad I can't use him in Ubers or, I mean, I can't use him directly in OUM below tier rating uh, matches. But when it comes to where I play anything goes, he's the go-to Pokemon. But I haven't used them in like forever since I haven't been playing Pokemon lately. But he is now officially in dedicate himself into the mascot role. Still prefer my man Squirtle, but he's lately been my mascot. Um, now for top one, and you guys are gonna be surprised in top one because top one as my mascot that I generally like about a Pokemon as my mascot if I could just open up the Pokeball that I have it in you're gonna be shocked about how this is gonna be how this particular Pokemon is actually my mascot you didn't know but it's actually Gengar Gengar is actually my mascot overall it's not technically he's not my mascot but he's actually the Pokemon that I prefer to be my mascot. Now I had a bunch of other YouTubers who had this particular same Pokemon as their mascot, like the King Nappy is one. He is technically one of my preferred mascots that I wish could have been my mascot. I fall in love with Gengar during Generation 1 and ever since I watched the first series of Pokemon, Gengar has always been my favorite uh, and doing the whole retelling of Gengar for like the anime series uh, when uh, one of the Leaf 4 members having Gengar and this Pokeball comes out of the cane the whole transition to it popping out I fall in love with the Gengar for a lot but it just never reached my mascot material now that's another Pokemon that I have a feeling that should have been my mascot like me too in a way because I have a lot of same similarities to that particular Pokemon because I like to spook on I like to like scare people on it now and then so it's like this is this is a Pokemon for me this is a Pokemon that is technically would be my mascot uh, but ever since a lot of people who choosing Gengar I kind of feel like well, Gengar wouldn't be my mascot because a lot of people have Gengar for their mascot. 
A lot of people have Squirtle as their mascot. A lot of people have Blastoise for the mascot. So, the fact that I choose Squirtle for the unique purpose of Squirtle, it was going to be between set Squirtle or between Gengar. And since I was able to create a cool, a cool thing with Squirtle himself, Gengar was left out as not being my mascot. So now, that's how you know what you don't know about me and why I choose Squirtle as my main mascot and why I didn't choose Gengar as my mascot. Because I couldn't come up with any catchy lines for Gengar. So, until I finally figure out what I'm going to do for Gengar and come up with a catchy line, he's going to have to rock out with the Squirtle shades. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, skull bash the, you know, light button and you gotta put your Squirtle shades on and stay awesome. You know, you gotta, you gotta put your Squirtle shades on and then just stay awesome, guys. Because that's the only way you can do it and it's, this, that's how it is. It's just, just how it is. That's how the Squirtle goes, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for, uh, for Lantern, you know, tagging me in this video. I'm not going to tag anybody else in this video, but again, I'm glad that he did tag me into this video because I generally wouldn't have anything to pit on the channel lately. Again, I'm still waiting for, uh, Black Ops 4 to come out. So it just recently came out by the time I record this and put it up here. Uh, you're probably going to see me streaming. So, uh, yeah. See you guys. Bye.